I have given you an overview of these three types of graphs. So let's do a re quick recap. Type 1 are those that has uh, original function, original signal function, followed by the unit step function. So this means switch on at t equals to c. So before that is switch off. So this one has a chop off effect. So I will chop off the front portion. The second type has got the original signal. Maybe let me write this up as well. Has got the original signal function in front, followed by two unit step function. One of them represents to switch on. The other one has got a kill off, a subtraction, which is to kill it off, which means this is a switch off. So we only retain the center portion of the graph because we chop off the front and the back portion. And it's only left with the center portion of the graph. The last type of graph are those that has been shifted. To recognize them, usually you will find that the function input looks the same. So you can tell that they both has been shifted by C. So let's look at examples in your lecture notes and fill them in. So I have here sketch y equals to t plus 1 ut minus 2. So this looks like my original function signal and this is the switch. So if you look at the demonstration here, firstly we were to write draw the original signal function t plus 1 and after which chop off the front part because I will only switch on at t equals to 2. So let's do the same. Example 1 part 1. I have the original function signal which is a sine graph which I will only switch on at pi. Let me sketch the axis. So the sine graph, original signal function, let me draw the original signal function. Looks like this. One cycle is to pi. Another cycle is pi. Pi by 2. 3 pi by 2. The highest it will go is 1. The lowest it will go is negative 1. So this is my sine t graph. But it will not switch on from the beginning. It will only switch on at pi. So I'm going to chop off the front which means that I'm going to take this part away, turn it off, it will not be on, it will be off before pi, and it will only turn on at pi. So the red color represents the answer, let me take away the origin. In the second graph, t squared is my original signal function which will only turn on at t equals to 1. So let me set up the axis. So t square is a quadratic curve which will look like something like this but I can only I can draw from 0 onwards since time is positive anyway. So let me locate time equals to 1. When t equals to 1, t squared is also equals to 1. So what happens with the incorporation of ut minus 1 is switch? Before time equals to 1, it switch off, chop it off. 
and when time equals to 1, it will turn on. So red color represents the graph, and I'm going to take away the origin. In the next demonstration, notice that this t minus 2 and t minus 2 looks like they have both been consistently shifted by 2. So let's unshift it. When it's unshift, it looks like this. Take away the shift, which is the minus 2. Take away the shift, which is the minus 2. It means uh, the original before I shift it is to sketch a T graph which starts from the Y axis. That's why you see a T graph which starts from the Y axis. And then I shift by 2 to the right. So let's look at example 1 part 1. Here, I can see there's a consistent shift of pi. So let me look at the unshifted function. Before it shifted, take away the shift, it looks like this, which means it's a sine function which starts from the y-axis. Let me set it up. So this graph in blue represents sine t ut, which means it's a sine graph that starts from the y-axis. But now I need to shift it to the right by pi. So now instead of starting at the y-axis, I shift it to the right by pi. Before that, it was off. So the graph in red is my answer, and I'm going to take away the origin. Next, from the function, you can see there's a consistent shift in 1. So if I were to unshift it, look at it before it's been shifted, take away the shift of 1, take away the shift of 1, this is what it looks like, which is a t-square graph that starts at the y-axis. Let me set this up. t-square graph, which starts from the y-axis. So now let me shift by 1. Let me locate 1. I say 1 is here. So now instead of starting at the y-axis, I'm going to shift to the right. And before that, it's switched off. So now that I've shifted, I'm going to remove the original. Just this. So these are my shifted graphs. Finally, if I look at this sketching function here, I have two unit step function which means one represents on and one represents off so i'm going to take the original signal draw it as you can see here chop off the front part chop off the back part because it says turn on at one to up four switch off at four turn on from here to here the rest i don't want and i don't want so retain the center portion take away the back portion so let's do the example. I have my original signal function, which I have two unit step functions. So one of them represents on, and the negative here means Q log, Q log at pi by 2. So let me set up my sine t. So according to this, I'm supposed to turn on at 0. Turn on at 0 means to start at the y-axis. Turn off at pi by 2. So stop at pi by 2. 
So start from the y axis and turn off at pi by 2. So before that, it's off. And after pi by 2, it's off. So retain this portion. No, do not take off the before portion and take away the after portion. So let me take away the original. So this is my answer in red. Next, I have my original function, original signal function with two unit steps. Again, one says turn on at one. The other says turn off at two because of the subtraction. Let me set up the t square function. Let me locate one and two. When t is one, t square is one. When t is two, t square is four. So now what I'm going to do is to retain the center portion, chop off the one before one, chop off after two. So this portion is what I want to retain. It only switch on at one, so before one is switch off. And after two is also off. So let me take away the original. So my answer is in red. So this represents the function with two units that function, one on and one off. So now let's look at the example, the last example. How am I going to express this in unit step function? I have a linear line here and a horizontal line here. So let me try to separate them up or differentiate them. I have a linear line here and a horizontal line here. Now let me attack the easier one, which is the horizontal line. I have a horizontal signal at 2, which only turns on, because we did look at the blue color, the blue color line only turns on at 2 o'clock. So the original signal 2 turns on at 2 o'clock. It belongs to this type. Original signal turns on at C. So I write it as an original signal 2 turns on at 2. That's for the blue color part. Now for the green color part, it's a linear line. So I need to find this linear line which can be represented by y equals mt plus c and I need to find the gradient m and the y-intercept c. Now I cannot find it, I cannot see from this graph what the intercept is, so I'm going to pick two points. First point I pick is labeled 1, 0. Second point I pick is labeled 2, 2. Both this point I pick lies on the green color line, so I can find m. Gradient m is y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Just two. So the gradient is two. Now I can't tell the y-intercept, so I'm going to calculate the y-intercept. So to calculate the y-intercept, I'm going to pick any one of these points, either one zero or two two. So just for example, let me pick one zero. And when I pick one zero, I'm going to sub into this linear line. So y is zero, m is two. T is 1, and C is what I want to find. So C is negative 2. Therefore, this green color function doesn't start on the y-axis, so it has a start. It turns on at 1 and switch off at 2. The green color line switch on at 1 and switch off at 2. So this green color graph belongs to this type where you only retain the center portion, you don't want anything in front, and you don't want anything behind. So this green color 
looks like this the linear line mt plus c is m is 2 c is negative 2 so 2t minus 2 switch on at 1 switch off at 2 so now putting it together there are two ways i can simply add them so for example the green line green line add to the blue line and I will have to simplify this because I can see similar unit step function here so I have to open up the bracket expand and group together now this could be a bit cumbersome so I'm going to look at method 2 my method 2, I can see this green color is switched on at 1. So let me write that down. The green color function is 2t minus 2, which I switch on at 1. Subsequently, at, two of, at time equals to 2, I have to switch off the green and switch on the blue. Switch off the green and switch on the blue. So switch on the blue positive 2 switch off the green off the green off the green at this all this happen at time equals to 2 okay otherwise as i said if this is easier to understand all you got to do now is to expand and simplify so this is using method 2 this is using method 1 they both should give you the same answer although i find this easier to simplify 2 minus 2t plus 2 become 4 minus 2t So take out negative 2, have t minus 2, rho t minus 2. See, negative 2t plus 4 is what I have. So I'm done.